Hello and welcome to scripting tutorial number 21. Okay, so this is the last beginners tutorial that I'll be teaching you. I mean, unless I forget to make something else that should be in a beginners tutorial series, then I'll just like make a new video and add it onto the beginners series. But as far as I know, at the moment, this is going to be the last video in the beginners series. So I'll be leaving the link to the advanced series in the description below. Okay, so let's start learning about what local variables are so variables something you can store information in let's go ahead and make one and uh, set it to five now okay so this is a variable a variable called pod and it's equal to five and um, right so if we make a, a do block now you haven't learnt what this is yet I mean you probably recognize you think it's a loop because it's got the word do in it but it's just a do block and it's something I'm going to be using it as an example to make local variables in. So um, now let's go ahead and uh, say pod equals 10 and let's print pod. Okay. So think of this do block as an if statement. It could be an if statement if you wanted to, let's say, if true then. That's just like a true condition so it will run the if statement so think of it as an if statement think of it as a for loop it could be anything like a while loop um, anything which I can set a scope in now scope is a place where you declare variables maybe inside an if statement if I have an if statement and I start declaring a ton of variables inside an if statement then that would be a scope so here here's my if statement scope because I've just um, declared a variable of pod and set it equal to 10 but I've actually declared that up here though. I've declared the variable pod up here as well. So this is just like assigning uh, a value of 10 to the pod variable. Now, what if I stuck the word local next to it? So that's what we're going to be learning about today, the local variables. Now, you've probably seen it a lot in scripts. Um, you've also seen like things like local scripts. So if you go to insert basic object um, and have a look for local script, You've probably seen that before as well, and you're probably wondering what what it does. Um, I'm not teaching you what local scripts are yet. I'll be teaching you that in the advanced series. Um, but the actual word local, when you put the word local in a script, then, yeah, I'll be teaching you that today. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the word local away first, and uh, let's try and run the script. You'd expect it to print 10, because here we've said pod equals 5, and then in the if statement, we've said pod equals 10. So the only difference between these two lines is that one's in an if statement and one's not. So it shouldn't really matter. They're both global variables. I mean, they, this is a global variable pod. You can use it anywhere. So we should be able to set the value of pod to 10 here. So if we print pod, it should be 10. So if you go ahead and print, you see, 10. Now, let me just take this part away. It's annoying me. So go back to script. So now, now let's stick the word local in front of it. Okay, so this is where it begins to get weird. So now, if I were to click play, I'd be printing 5. So what's it done? It's, it's, it's just like it's just missed this line out. It's I've set the variable pod to 5, and um, in the if statement, it's just as if it skipped this line out and uh, then we print pod again and it should be 5 so it's like we're not actually setting the variable pod to 10 so what's happened why why haven't we printed 10 why have we just printed 5 so that's because when a variable is local and it's inside a scope like an if statement or a for loop or a do block as I was explaining before um, then oops let me set this to end then Okay, so what's happening here is we've actually declared a new variable and it's only local to this if statement here. We can't use this variable pod in in the rest of the script. We can only use it in this section here. Now, if I were to, let's call it something else. Let's call it var1. Okay, um, another thing, you can't, you can't make variables beginning with a number. Okay, variables have to begin with a letter, just to let you know. Um, so... What we've done here, we've created a variable called var1, we've set it equal to 10, but we can only use this variable inside this if statement. 
as soon as we start trying to print var1 it, outside the if statement it will just print nothing, it will print nil because you can't print a local variable outside of its scope you can only print it whilst it's whilst we're still inside this if statement here okay so you can only print local variables whilst inside the if statement okay so let's try and print var1 outside of the if statement because it's a local variable it won't let us therefore it's just going to print nil as you can see here it's printed nil then it's printed pod so that's what that does you can only print or you can only use local variables within the scope which you've set it in so we can only print this variable inside this if statement we can only use it inside the if statement okay so that's how local variables work um, if I were to go local pod equals 10 it wouldn't overwrite the variable pod it wouldn't assign the value of 10 to this variable here it create a new variable called pod but we'd be when we print pod it'd be printing the local variable and not the global variable pod okay so local is kind of local has more authority than global variables so if you wanted to make a variable with the same name as you have right, with the global variable here and it's in an if statement and you only want to use this variable here inside this if statement then you'd stick the word local next to it and now when we print pod here it should print 10 here because we're printing the local variable here and then here we're printing the global variable because we're, we're out of our if statement now we're no longer in the if statement so if I went ahead and did this okay if I went ahead and did that we'd still be printing the global variable because there is no local variable inside this if statement this if statement consists of no local variables so if I went ahead and did that and then print a pod here so let me just talk you through what this would do we're gonna set pod here global variable equals 5 inside the if statement we've set a local variable called pod and it's equal to 10 this local variable is different to this global variable so this pod here does not equal to this pod this pod is a whole new variable it's it's a whole new variable it's like saying var1 it's a whole new variable it's not equal to pod but we've just got the same name but because it's local um, it doesn't overwrite the global variable it's a whole new variable pod but it's local okay to the if statement only and we can only print pod um, we can only print the local pod when we've declared a local variable inside the if statement this is not going to print the global version of pod it's going to print the local version of pod okay and then we've got a new if statement here um, I mean if I were to print pod again uh, pod here this would print 5 and not the local variable because we're no longer if in the if statement we're no longer within the scope of the local variable we've gone out of the scope because we've got the end and now we're printing 5 okay and uh, we've got a new if statement here and we've set pod to 8 now we're going to print pod okay it's going to print pod it's going to print 8 and then we've printed we're printing pod again we're not going to print 5 we're going to print 8 because this we don't have the word local if we had the word local here then this would be a whole new variable again and it would print 8 here and then 5 here but because we've not got the word local here it's overwritten this variable here now pod is equal to 8 it print 8 here and it would also print 8 here as well because we've overwritten this pod as it's not local just because it's in an if statement doesn't mean it's automatically local it's still global until we set it to be local and now we're printing the local version of pod and the global version of pod which is equal to 5 here and 8 here okay so that's how local and global works um, it's not that complicated it's just you know it's, it's a matter of fact of getting used to it and um, you're probably thinking okay so why why would I be needing to set local variables well if you want to have a variable of the same name um, inside an if statement and you're not going to use this variable anywhere else but the if statement then you'd set it to local so you, you'll be grabbing the local version of the pod rather than the global pod okay and um, so as I was talking to you about the do blocks now do blocks let me talk to you about this they, they do nothing I mean I don't really think they do anything do blocks they just it's just something where you can set local variables in okay so say I wanted to 
let me give you an example. Um, number 1 equals 5, number 2 equals 3, and do block. Hold on. Do and. Okay, and local answer equals number 1 plus number 2. Right, so actually, no, let me set these to local. Um, local. And let's set this to global. Right. Remember to indent. It makes the code look nicer. So I've indented by one tab here. If you want to indent all of it, then just highlight it all and press tab and you'd be indenting. Okay? So, right. We've got a local variable here called number one. We've got a local variable here called number two. And we've got a global variable here called answer. Now, let's go ahead and try to print number one. Uh, number one, print number two, print answer. Right, you probably know what's going to happen. Because we're in a do block, this is our scope. This is our scope here. We've declared all these three variables here. And uh, this is the scope. We've got two local variables and one global variable. The, we can only use the local variables within this scope here. We can't go ahead and print the local variables outside of the do block. We can only print it within the do block. And uh, the global variable answer, we can print it outside the do block because it's global and it's not local. So if it's not local, it's global. And therefore, we can print it outside of the scope of the do block. Now, this should print nil, nil, and eight. Okay? So we've set the answer to number one plus number two which is equal to 8. So theoretically, answer should be equal to the number 8. Okay, so these are local, we can't print them, and we'd be printing 8 here. So you should understand what's happening now. Just because it's a do block and it doesn't do anything, it's just used for setting variables, really. Uh, this is just used for setting local variables uh, in a scope. So that's all the do block does. I don't really use it much. So it's more useful in if statements or maybe while loops uh, while true do or maybe repeat don't do while true do without a wait though because you'll just get an infinite loop and you'd crash so repeat until answer equals 8 actually no, we'll do repeat until yeah, answer equals 8 we need a double equals to compare so this is pretty pointless as well because we know answer is going to be equal to 8 anyway um, so that's what it does. I mean, this is just an example of a scope you can do. Uh, repeat loop. Um, you can do anything you want. If statement, whatever you want. And then try to print local variables outside of a local scope. And it will just print nil. And uh, that's what it does. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's all that it does then. So just learn that. And you'll be good to go. You've got all the beginner skills. Um, I'll leave the advanced tutorial... Uh, link inside the description and you can start to begin uh, scripting in more advanced techniques okay so you've got all the knowledge to make a good game now so go ahead try and make a good game try and get it to the front page keep advertising or whatever um, until I make the first advanced tutorial series uh, which I should do tomorrow sometime okay so new tutorials every day I'm just gonna make I will cover absolutely everything there is to cover in Roblox Lua scripting. So, no need to worry, I will cover everything and you will be able to make everything by the end of all my tutorial series. Okay then, so I will see you in the advanced tutorial series then. Bye.